Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today and pressing play on the video, um, following my vi my video channel. Um, today we're going to look at this project here. We're going to make this. This is a little autumn card. Um, it was made for a blog hop a week or so ago, which the theme was um, the favourite season. And I chose to go with autumn. I'm really loving this set, the Arranger Wreath. Um, because it is suitable for all sorts of seasons. So we've got Christmas, we've got the partridge and the pears, for partridge and a pear tree for Christmas. And we've also got some dies that cut out ponzetia type flowers as well. So either of those, let me find them. Either of those um, would be good for Christmas cards. There we go, there's the ponzetia. We've got the hearts and a love dye that are great for Easter. We've got flowers that are great for spring and summer, so, and other flowers. So it's really an all round um, set, plus a lot of really nice greetings here as well. Easter, we've got eggs for Easter as well. So really, really useful set. And I used it for autumn, so I've used the, the oak leaf here, and there's a die to cut them out, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And then I used just one of the, one of the wreath dies use this one I haven't actually used this one yet I must get used around to using that but I love this dye really love it um so let me show you what we're going to do we're going to change up the colors a little bit today as I normally do on the video so we're going to start with a, gr a garden green um base on this one it was old olive and the wreath was old olive today we're going to start with garden green so what I'm going to do actually I'll leave that one there so we can refer to it I'm going to bring in my trimmer just to score, I can find it, it's always somewhere behind me. So my card blank measures 15 by 21. I'm gonna score along the 21, in, the one, 21 centimeter side at 10 and a half to give me my card blank, like so. Um, and then just bring in my bone folder to burnish that fold and give it a nice crisp fold and then we're going to mount a piece of very vanilla cardstock on top there which measures one centimeter lower on each side so this side where it was ten and a half this measures nine and a half whereas this was 15 this now measures 14 so we're just going to bring some Tombow in to stick that down very effective way to just start off a card is just to use a, a mat so if you've got a colored card blank use a, a fairly neutral mat or if you've got a whisper white or very vanilla card blank you can go a bit mad with your layers maybe use another layer you could have three layers anyway there we go right this is the wreath I've already die cut this this is the wreath cut from Granny Apple, not Granny Apple Green, Garden Green. Um, so I'm just going to put some glue on the back here. Now I've said before, when you're doing these dies, you could use our adhesive sheets. Cut the whole thing out with an adhesive sheet on the back, and then the whole thing would be sticky and make you help you stick it down really quickly and easily. But actually, for me, Tombow works. Tombow does the job that I need it to do. I'm not sure if you could use any other types of glue to do this. I don't think tear and tape or seal or anything like that would work very well. Right, and we're going to position that in the top half of the card and just push that down. Right, and then we need some leaves. Now, I've already die cut, I've stamped and die cut a few leaves in a few different colours to what I used before. So on this one, I used... I can remember Cajun Craze, Terracotta Tile, Crushed Curry and Bumblebee. Now today what I've used is Old Olive, so we're going to have some green leaves amongst there as well, Pumpkin Pie, Bumblebee and I'm going to do a couple more to show you how to do them in Mango Melody. So I'll just put them out of the way for the moment. So I've got Mango Melody and somewhere I've got my stamp already on a block here we are so that is going to go there now this this stamps pad 
seems to want to stamp a bit unevenly so I'm going to do another one that one didn't come out very well I've re-inked it in the middle I put loads of ink in it but it just seems to absorb it there we go that's fine right okay now somebody asked me the other day about how to use these dies um, with a die cutting machine so I thought I would just demonstrate because quite often I just do this off camera but I thought I would just demonstrate now you can buy a, a magnetic um, plate for your die cutter which means if you put the die if you put this this on the magnetic die and then put your die over theoretically it shouldn't move because the magnet will hold it in place I don't really get on with the magnetic plates I must admit a lot of people do so give them a try if you think you might but I just use a little bit of low tack tape which is in fact washi tape so I position my die over my um, a stamped image and then I need my plate this is our lovely new um, cut and emboss machine so you need to use plate one plate two plate three then your card and your die and then the other plate three and that will go perfectly through your machine And then I'll just do one more. Take that off there. And just line that up. Very easy to do like this. Use the same piece of washi tape. You can use that piece of washi tape over and over again. If you haven't got any washi tape, anything, any low tack tape, so even the edge of the post-it strip would probably be okay. If you're going to use sellotape or something like that, you need to take some of the tackiness off. So you need to press it against your clothes a good few times before you use it. Right, and there we are. So I now have eight oak leaves. There's those two. And there's these ones. So this is less brown than the other one. The other one was a bit too brown for me. So I'm now going to bring out my, my um, dimensionals. And underneath each of these leaves, I'm going to put one dimensional. One of the big, the norm, the regular dimensionals, not one of the tiny ones. They all have a purpose, um, I find. I, I stopped using the big ones for a while because I thought the little ones would do. But actually, I've gone back to using the big ones for some things as well. Love them. And if you're a customer of mine, quite often a pack of dimensionals is included in your thank you package if you've used my code. So, um, yeah, because I think they're so useful. A lot of people use them. So I'm hoping my customers think they're useful as well. There we go. There. Right, so we've got... So I'm just, I'm randomly taking them. So this is Old Olive. So I'm going to randomly place that at the top there. Now let's find the other Old Olive because they're going to go in opposite parts. There we are. So this one is going to go down there. Then I need two to go here. So I think I'll do the orange ones. The pumpkin pie ones there. These two colours are quite similar, so I don't want them to be next to each other. So there's one orange one there. One pumpkin pie. And another pumpkin pie one there. And then this is bumblebee. Put that one there. And another one still got quite an autumnal look about it don't you think maybe not quite as much as the other one but I quite like it quite like having a bit of an experiment with different colors and then this is mango melody and that's all of the stamping and die cutting that we need to do oh not quite Actually, let's just do the front. Let's finish the front and then I'll do a little bit of stamping inside as well. Right, okay. Get rid of those dimensional backs. 
Okay, right, I'm going to use the um, Ornate Thanks die, um, stamps. And I'm actually going to do it differently. So on this one, I use the Great Big Thank You, which I think sits quite nicely there. This one, I'm going to use Thanks, and I'm going to use Ever So Much. Or actually, am I? Did I decide? No, I think I was going to say, Just Wanted to Say. So I've now got to just find just wanted to say because they're quite tricky to see on here. Just wanted to say, there it is. Let's take that one off as well. My tip for these is not to place them on the block but to place them on your surface and then bring the block to them because they can curve a little bit. Um, how big do I need a block? I don't use that one. This will be fine. Right, okay, so I'm going to line up my thanks on my grid paper and then bring my block to it. And then I'm going to line this one up as well, making sure I've got it the right way up. Just wanted to say, make sure that is straight, and then that. We'll go there. So I've got both stamps on my stamp now. Um, and I'm going to stamp in pumpkin pie, I think. I can find it. There we go. So. Just checking that they look straight. They do look straight to me. And just stamp. There. Perfect. Just wanted to say thanks. It's quite sweet, that isn't it? There we go. And then I'm going to take a panel to put in the middle. This is a slightly smaller panel. I've got wider margins because it's going in the middle. That doesn't matter. We'll pop that in there. And then I should really have stamped it first because if it goes wrong, you then messed up the panel inside your card. Whereas if you stamp it before, it doesn't matter so much. But hey ho, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to mess it up, she says optimistically. Right, I'm going to do a mango melody. Just a little stamp down there. And then I'm going to clean that off. my chamois. There you go, magic. Magic chamois, I think that should be called. And I'm going to use the old olive. You can see I'm still using my old stamp pads, which were phased out at least a couple of years ago. Most of these I haven't even had to re-ink yet. They last forever, these stamp pads. There we go. And ta-da, we're done. So where's my other card gone? There it is. So a bit more autumnal, that one, I think, but I still quite, quite like the colours in this one as well. Hope you like them. Um, yeah, I really like those. It uses lots of colours that I don't normally use. I, do, I certainly don't use crushed curry and Cajun craze very often, but for autumnal cards, they were just right. I think the old olive has got more of an autumnal look to it than the garden green. But hey-ho, it's good to try different colour schemes. I've obviously done a slightly bigger board around this one than this one. I obviously only went down half a centimetre here. But, you know... Don't know which one you prefer. Anyway, that's it from me today. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget, if you want to order anything, you can pop down to my online shop, but do put my code, my monthly shopping code, in the host, host code box when you check out, and I can send you a free gift next month. Everyone who orders, even if you don't use my code, will get a handmade card and a free handmade, hand-packaged little gift. Um, but... Um, if you use my code, I can send you a free product gift as well. So please do that. That's all from me today. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will be back with another project very, very soon. Bye for now. Have a great day.